awesome person, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, that's awesome, then just welcome to my channel. My name is Joy, I do subscription box unboxings, makeup try-ons, and occasionally I throw something else in to keep you on your toes. And today is Mask Monday. And it is my third time doing this. I'm going to be doing a different kind of mask today. I got these, I don't know, three, four months ago at Walmart. They were on sale for like $6 or something. And I haven't used them yet. And they're wash-offs, so they are from the brand Spa Scriptions. Um, and because I threw the box away, I had to Google it. And it says it takes... 10 to 15 minutes and wash it off before it completely dries. So I am going to use the gray one. It is the purifying metallic wash off mask. I'm super excited. It comes with this little brushy. You open it and it looks like that. So, so it may not dry, but hopefully it will not fall off my face. So how's everybody doing today? I hope you're all having a lovely Monday. It was a crappy weekend. We had nothing but rain all week, all weekend. My poor husband is a contractor and he has to do a lot of stuff out in the rain. So hopefully he don't get sick. And I wanted to let you guys know that um, I've been getting a lot of your comments have been going to my um, spam folder and I just found um, like if you have YouTube and you use your computer, there's YouTube studios that you can go into. And if you don't use your computer, you can download YouTube studios on your mobile device. And um, anyways, in the YouTube studios, there's an area for like held um, comments or whatever that most, most likely will be spam. And I don't know what's wrong because I've been into it every day but then I got in there today and I had so many um, comments that were in spam and these are my regular subscribers they're not saying anything to um, go to spam I don't think so I don't know what is going on so some of y'all may um, want to check to see like if your comments are doing what they're supposed to do. I don't know how much you're supposed to put on. I'm sure you're supposed to just cover your face, try to keep it out of your eye. I just almost put it in my eyeball. It's definitely not a good thing. So I'm going to leave this on. Um, I may pause the video if it gets too long if I don't like um, start drying because the website said that you should wash it off before it dries because if it dries and you've had it on for too long and they recommend not to okay does that look good looks good to me I think um, as I keep playing with it <laughs> All right, um, not to leave it on for more than 15 minutes. So I'm assuming it's going to dry or they wouldn't tell you that. Um, and another thing that I wanted to discuss with you is um, I've went through and my collab video, the giveaway one, there's a lot of people that um, entered my part of the giveaway but you guys do not have your um, YouTube set to public. Um, you can set it to public on the 30th of um, October as long as it's there, but when I draw the name on the 31st of October, if you are not set to public, then you are not going to qualify for that giveaway. And um, 
So you, if you use a computer or laptop and you go into your YouTube channel and you click on your little face and a list comes up and it'll say your channel and um, upload videos and YouTube studios and blah, blah, blah. And then down towards the bottom, it says settings. You have to go into settings and you have to make your um, channel public. And if you don't have um, a computer or laptop or device like that and you just have your mobile phone, you do it the same way. You bring up your YouTube channel and right at the top, there's a picture of you. You hit that picture, you go down to settings and um, it is a little bit trickier um, when you go down to settings in your mobile device, but you can still use it to make your channel public because it's going to suck if I have to keep polling a new person if you guys um, are not publicly subscribed. Um, and if you YouTube, if, and if you Google um, how to make your YouTube channel public, as you're reading it, they tell you that YouTube sets your profile to private as a default. So that means that every time um, somebody gets a YouTube channel started, it's automatically set private until they go in and make it a public um, profile. And I just wanted to bring that up to you because I do have like, I think it's like 40 or 50 comments at least that... Um, have that I've counted that have you know the word skincare in it and um but half more than half of you are not on my um subscriber list there are a few of you that are but more than half of you are not so um I hope you guys can figure it out because it's gonna be sad if I can't give it to the person that I pull because they're not um, a public subscriber. That also goes for Johanna Masana and Gracefully Cheryl's page too, um, because if you're not um, showing public to me, you're not showing public to them either. And so there is a chance that you guys can lose out on three giveaways, um, all because you haven't went in and changed it to public. Um, if you guys still can't figure it out, try Googling it. If you can't figure it out Googling it, maybe you have a friend or a family member, somebody that can help you with it. So that way you can, um, you know, be part of the giveaways because that's the whole reason that we're having it. So... I wasn't too sure what what to talk about, and I have said that in my last Mask Monday that um, the hardest part about this is uh, um, not knowing what to talk about. So, um, one of my um, friends, Camille's Boxes, suggested that I talk about paranormal or ghost-related things if I've ever dealt with it, and that's super funny that she suggested that because... Um, I speak to the dead. I don't tell many people that. A lot of people think that I'm crazy. And when I was younger, I thought that I was crazy. Um, it wasn't until I was like 24 when I realized that I could speak to the afterlife. And I do it in my dreams. And how I found that out was... When I was 24, um, you know how when you're in your 20s and you make stupid decisions? Yeah, well, I did that and decided on the spur of the dime or whatever they call it um, to move to El Paso, Texas. So I moved to El Paso and I ended up in a Salvation Army with my children. And um, before I figured out how to get back to Michigan, um, I was having these really weird dreams about this little boy named Miguel, and he kept telling me that he had lived in the Salvation Army, and um, that uh, he died there, and he told me he was four, he told me um, how he passed away, and I kept having this dream, and I'm like, this is like really weird, because it seems like it's so true, and to, ch to change the subject for just a quick second, I've been having dreams like this my whole life, but with different people, not with Miguel. And uh, I would, 
have dreams about people I didn't know. And they would tell me that they were dead. They'd tell me how they died. And I just thought that I had a really good imagination and that I just, you know, had really weird dreams. But they always felt so real. Well, so I decided to um, ask some of the employees at the Salvation Army. And this one guy named Tony that worked there he had just started working there and he was like, I don't know, I've only been here like six months, I've never heard of it. So he decided to do some digging around and turned out like 10 years before I um, ended up at that particular Salvation Army that there was a little boy named Miguel Rodriguez who drowned in the Salvation Army kitchen in the middle of the night and he was four years old. And that is when I went, oh, I talk to dead people. So after that, um, like once I realized that, oh, it was just like an abundancy of spirits came to me every night to talk to me. It took me years to be able to shut it down. Um, and sometimes they still seep through because it's exhausting to go all night and have spirits coming into your dreams talking to you. It's like you wake up like you haven't had any sleep at all. So that is one um, story that you can either believe or not believe, but I know it's true. Um, so I don't know if I'm like clairvoyant or anything like that because I don't normally see spirits um, except for in my dreams. I do sense that they're around. I can go into a place and be like, oh, wait a minute, there's... Um, spiritual activity here and I've never dealt with demonic entities which those are like bad spirits um but I would if I had to but I can walk into a building or start walking up to a building and know that there is really really bad negativity um bad entity going on and there's been places that I've refused to go into because of that but all right this feels like it's starting to dry and it's been like 13 minutes so I'm gonna pause you guys go wash off my face really quick and then I'll be right back Alrighty, I got the um purifying metallic wash off mask washed off my face now I'm going to have to do a little bit of research on it um, I think the metallic means glitter because I don't know if you guys can tell but it looks like I have glitter all over my face and we know how I like glitter all over my face I know I was just being sarcastic I like it around the eyes where I feel it should be but my face does Feel extra clean oh and if you guys do use these things I recommend that um, you do it before you take a shower uh, so that way it's easier to come off just using your like sink water to like wash it off it makes a huge mess just to let y'all know anyhow so that is my third mask Monday uh, I'll be doing it again next week, but uh, I don't think I don't think I'll be using these. These will definitely be um, a unless I record it at night, then maybe where I can jump in the shower because I don't like making big messes um, when I'm cleaning my face. But anyways, oh look at how shiny I am! I don't know if I like that because I've been trying to dry up my face and now it looks like I'm oily again. I don't know. Maybe I just complained too much. Who knows? But alrighty, guys. That's all I have for you today. I do hope you enjoyed yourself. I hope you have a wonderful day. Remain awesome. Peace.